Meet the all-new Kindle Paperwhite. Our thinnest, lightest yet. Now waterproof with Audible. Plus a sleek, modern design and twice the storage. Kindle Paperwhite is purpose-built for daily escapes, so you can read and relax in more places. mountains and streams, though not one was in sight. The landscape is only wavering foothills, roughened here and there with trees. Instead of going small with its new top-of-the-line e-ink e-reader, Kobo's gone big. The Aura 1 sports a 7.8-inch screen that's significantly larger than the 6-inch screens found on all of Amazon's Kindle e-readers. However, at 230 grams or 8.1 ounces, this is thinner and a touch lighter than Kobo's earlier Aura H2O, which has a smaller 6.8-inch screen. So you're basically getting more screen without adding any weight. I also liked how the back of the device has a rubberized textured finish, which makes it a little easier to grip. Like the H2O, this one's also waterproof, and even more so, it's got a higher IPX8 rating, which means it can be submerged in up to 2 meters of water for up to 60 minutes. No Kindle is currently waterproof, although Barnes & Noble's latest Nook is. Other upgrades include an ultra high resolution 1872 by 1404 300 pixel per inch display, 8 gigabytes of onboard storage instead of 4 gigabytes, and an improved integrated lighting system that allows you to adjust not only brightness but color temperature, which is kind of cool. Battery life is rated up to a month and there's Wi-Fi connectivity but no cellular option. As you'd expect from a Kobo e-reader, you can shop for ebooks using the Kobo ebook store. But in the US, Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, you can also check out library ebooks via Overdrive, which Kobo now owns. Other supported formats include EPUB, PDF, and Mobi, as well as various image file formats, HTML, and comic book file formats. At $230, the Aura 1 is fairly pricey, but the value proposition here is that you're getting a so called open e reader that has a large, crisp e ink display. And for those who like to read in the bathtub or any other body of water, it's also fully waterproof. I'm David Carnoy for CNET.com, and that's the Kobo Aura 1 e reader. Thanks for watching. video my name is Michael this is Peter we have here the Cybook Muse HD made by Bokeen that's a French company this e-reader came out late last year and in this unboxing video we're going to show you the retail packaging everything that comes inside and give you a sense of the overall design this is a really cool front of uh, one of the coolest e-reader boxes I've seen it's very nicely laid out you get a little backstory here quick specs Gloss HD, gloss e-reader, low. It, it's just really cool, really well laid out. Yeah, and I like here's, it. it's like the actual size yeah. it shows you of like the e-reader. Some a nice bind, nice and clean bind, and then all the specs on the back there. If you want to read over those, pause the video at any point in time there, or any language you want. Well, seven languages, but still a pretty good amount. Yeah, and if you look at this side of the box too, it's like designed by Bokeen in France, yeah. assembled in China, and it kind of gives you everything here, the UPC code, all like the, the certifications and things like that. 
Opening it up, you'll see on the back you have a little bit of an inlay. It's not a piece of paper, it's printed on the inside of the box. Really cool. It tells you exactly where, the, you get, where to get ebooks, so that's kind of cool. We'll leave this to the very end, of course, as we usually do, and um, we will look at everything else that comes in it. This is the quick start guide. It's printed in tricolor, so you get black, white, and lime green. Kind of cool. And if you look under here, you'll get the USB cable. The USB cable is a nice stone gray and it uh, has USB on one end and micro on the other end. You use that for transferring data to and from your device and charging it. This is the higher end of the Cybook, so it's flush screen and bezel. Oh! Yeah, so that's really nice. You have a very nice looking uh, bezel and edge. Everything is beveled. Beveled means you see this kind of slight angle. It's all beveled, meaning it's like cut on the sides. This is very nicely designed. You also have a 45 degree angle slice cut out of the bottom there. Page turn buttons and a home button that also doubles as a glow light button if you press and hold it. If you look on the bottom, you have a uh, power button, micro SD, and a micro USB port. Yeah, one thing Bokin's always done well is include micro SD ports uh, on their e-readers so you're not just stuck with the amount of memory that ships on it by default which is usually around 8 gigs right. uh, but you can expand it further normally up to about 32 gigs uh, easily. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for a few full and comprehensive review. For GoodyReader.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take Price at $180 Australian, $130 in the US, and £110 in the UK, the Kobo Glow HD is a sleek, crisp e-reader with some great features. I'm Nick Healy, Senior Editor for CNET. Kobo's latest model in its long, long range of e-readers is not only slimmer and lighter than its predecessor, it also, as the name suggests, packs in an impressive 1448 by 1072 pixel resolution on its 6 inch Carter e-ink screen. That's 300 pixels per inch, up from 213 on the original Glow. The Glow HD is just 9.2 millimeters thick, or 0.3 of an inch, and weighs just 180 grams, or 6.3 ounces. The design goes even more minimalist, with only a single button and a micro USB port that functions for both PC connectivity and charging. This means the backlight button that was on older Kobo e-readers is gone, with brightness now controlled via the touchscreen. The light itself is uniform across the screen and makes for a very pleasant nighttime reading experience. The Glow HD features a now standard 1 GHz processor, which makes for a very smooth experience, whether you're changing pages or just zipping around the interface. There's no micro SD port, so you're stuck with the 4 GB of internal memory, which is actually pretty good when you think about the average size of an ebook. The Kobo Glow HD has a tidy and clean design with a great run of features, all at a really good price. It's an excellent upgrade from the Glow, but if you're already using a Kindle, you'll need to have a big think about the Kindle Voyage before you consider swapping manufacturers and ecosystems. Like Apple's iPhone, Amazon's Kindle turns 10 this year. And to mark that 10th anniversary, Amazon is releasing its best Kindle yet, the all new Kindle Oasis. Not only is it the first fully waterproof Kindle, but it features a larger 7-inch e-ink display, a very slim design, and an aluminum back. The new Kindle Oasis may not be as expensive as the iPhone X, but it's very expensive for an e-reader. It starts at $250. The thing that jumps out at you is that larger 7-inch 300 PPI display. That PPI stands for pixels per inch. Compared to the original Kindle 6-inch display, it provides slightly more than 30% more screen real estate, and that's a big difference. The other big change is to the battery. The original Oasis had a small battery built into the device and a larger battery built into the included case, which adhered to the e-reader magnetically. With the new Kindle Oasis, the larger battery is integrated into the device itself, and Amazon has made the case an optional accessory that starts at $40. The new cases also adhere magnetically, but they aren't charging cases. The new Oasis tapers down to 3.4 millimeters at its thinnest point and weighs in at 194 grams or 10 grams lighter than the Kindle Paperwhite. Amazon says the display's cover glass is the strongest to date and the new dual core 1 gigahertz processor with 512 megabytes of RAM is the zippiest to date, giving you slightly faster page turns. It's worth noting that the integrated lighting scheme now features 12 LEDs instead of the 10 found on the original Oasis which helps the lights play across the screen a little more uniformly. The other big addition is support for audible playback on the device. There's no headphone jack, 
but there is Bluetooth connectivity that allows you to connect the new Oasis to a Bluetooth headphone or speaker. If you have the license to the Audible version of a book, you can toggle between the Audible and the ebook versions. However, you can't have the book's text appear while you're listening to the Audible version. That's a quick look at the new Kindle Oasis. I'm David Carnoy for CNET.com. Thanks for watching.